be in the sick among us. Uh, seeing your healing power this morning. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, uh, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for your mercy, Lord. Uh, thank you for your grace, Lord. Uh, thank you for what you have done for us, Lord. Uh, thank you for saving us, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, hallelujah. Uh, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we plead the blood this morning uh, on every circumstance, uh, on every situation this morning. In the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, hallelujah, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, hallelujah, Lord. Uh, oh God, we thank you right now, Lord. Uh, oh God, we lift up holy hands to you, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, hallelujah, Lord. Uh, oh God, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for this day and what it represents, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Oh, God, we say thank you this morning in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We ask that you will remain standing for the reading of the word. Hallelujah. scripture reading will be coming from Matthew, the 28th chapter, and we'll start at the fifth verse. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear ye not, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which is crucified. He is not here. He is risen. He said, Come, see the place where they laid, where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, lo, I tell you. And they departed quickly from the sculpture with fear and great joy. And he did run to bring his disciples the word. Amen. Blessed to the hearers and doers of his word. That was Matthew, the 28th chapter, starting from the 5th verse down to the 8th verse. Amen. Come on, bless God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, give him a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank Come on, he's work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him. Oh, we bless your name, oh God. Somebody ought to bless him right now. Hallelujah, we bless you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to bless him right now. Thank you, Lord God. I search high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Oh, I search. Nobody great. Nobody great. 
Somebody ought to lift their hands and bless Hallelujah. Somebody ought to lift their hands and give him a praise. Hallelujah. He is worthy. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Give praise out in my mouth. Somebody ought to bless the Lord. Somebody ought to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Just worship with me just one moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's done so many great things. Hallelujah. He's done so many great things. On this resurrection morning, he's done so many great things. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to bless him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to bless him right now. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. You have won the victory.
know that he's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. When I think about what he's done for me, when I think about the cross, how he died for me, when I think about how he brought me out, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I praise and worship him for who he is. Glory to God because he's worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why don't you put your hands together for the Lord? We celebrate, hallelujah, resurrection. So that we celebrate him. We celebrate him for all the things that he has done for us. We glorify him. Because if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? I say, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Glory to God, I can't imagine. Hallelujah. I say, I just can't imagine where I would be if the Lord had not been on my side. At this time, praise God, we want to honor, praise God, hallelujah, the house, hallelujah, this ministry. We want to say thank God for our founder and our overseer, none other than Apostle Johnny L. Jones. Glory to God. We thank God, hallelujah, for his lovely wife, praise God, and Lady Evangelist Jones. We thank God for their family. We thank God for our senior pastor this morning. Praise God, none other than Elder Timothy Brown. Let's say thank God for the man of God. Praise God, hallelujah, his lovely wife. Praise God, our first lady. None other than Sister Deidre Brown. Let's say thank God for her. And we thank God for, praise God, their family. Praise God, hallelujah. We thank God, hallelujah, for evangelists. Praise God, hallelujah, arenas. Glory to God, hallelujah. We thank God, praise God, hallelujah, for Prophetess Smith and her husband, Deacon Chairman Smith, praise God. We thank God for them, Deacon Goose, praise God, hallelujah. And his wife, praise God, and his family, Deacon Ken Day, praise God, hallelujah. We thank God, hallelujah. Praise God for Minister Burnell being in the midst this morning. Thank God for him. Glory to God, hallelujah. All the mothers in the house, praise God. Mother Goo, praise God. We thank God for Mother Canty Cutler. Green and Washington this morning, Mother Winters, praise God, hallelujah, thank God, hallelujah for each and every one of you, praise God, we thank God for Sister December and Sister Quinn, praise God, and praise God, hallelujah, I can't think of her name right now, but we thank God for you too, baby, praise God, hallelujah, 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 I'm going to just say Sister Chantel daughter right now because I can't think of her name, but praise God, but thank God for her. And we thank God for even the children that's in the house. Praise God to each and every one of them, to everyone in their respectable place. Hallelujah. We give honor to you for those who are watching us by Facebook or YouTube. We thank God for you and we give honor unto you. Also, praise God. Hallelujah. At this time, we're getting ready to do something that everyone can do, but I also want to give you a reminder. Let's not forget that it is Pastoral Day today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please, let's not forget that it is Pastoral Day today. And praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And hallelujah. Praise God. Sister Queen is going to come up and give you the many ways that you can give. And also, she'll give you our announcements uh, while she's up here also. Let's say thank God for the woman of God as she come to your front and tell you the many ways that you can give this morning. Hallelujah. I tell you, I know that God has a rich word for us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. And my soul is so eager to hear what God has to say to us. Hallelujah, Jesus. of giving um, we do have cash app that's dollar sign lights 4701 again dollar sign lights 4701 <coughs> you can also give via paypal that's www.paypal.me 
forward slash L-O-T-W church. Again, that is www.paypal.me forward slash L-O-T-W church. You can also give via Tithely. That's T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. You can also mail in your ministry given to <coughs> 4701 North 15th Street, Tampa, Florida, 33610. And P.O. Box 75782, Tampa, Florida. I believe it's 33675. I may have that wrong because I don't have that written down. But if not, we'll put it up on the screen for you. Okay. As for our announcements for April, we do have our uh, drive through prayer on the 23rd of April at 10 a.m. Again, that is our April drive through prayer, April 23rd at 10 a.m., followed by our church anniversary on April 28th and 29th at 7.30 p.m. Again, our church anniversary, the 28th and the 29th at 7.30 p.m. <coughs> and for the upcoming, we have May 12th, I believe is it May 12th through the 18th, the pastor's anniversary? May 12th through the 18th, our pastor anniversary. Then I do have here, it says our members meeting May 7th. I don't have the time for that. And I don't believe we're doing the food giveaway on May 14th because that'll be in the week that we're doing our pastor anniversary. But I'll have confirmation on that and I can let you guys know. And I will give you the times for those dates for the our pastor anniversary from the 12th to the 18th and our members meeting on May 7th. We do have our prayer line on Monday nights from 727 to 8 p.m. And that number is 951-981-7249. And then we do have our uh, weekly services on Wednesdays night, Wednesday night, our Bible study. It is from 7 p.m. You can come to the house of the Lord as well as you can tune in to our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook channel. And then we have our Sunday uh, morning services. We have Sunday school at 945, followed by our morning worship at 11 a.m. And that is all that I have for our announcements at this time. Glory to God. We ask that you please keep the announcements in mind. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Also, praise God. Hallelujah. The announcements will be updated also on Teams. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you can check your Teams and the announcement will also be updated on Teams. At this time, we're going to bring, praise God, our usher to your front, and she's going to direct you, praise God, in your giving.
praise the Lord for those that have just walked in. We are into offering. If you would like to give your offering, please don't forget that today is Pastoria Day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give your opportunity to pay your tithe and offering and Pastoria. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Has everyone given? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If everyone has given praise God, we praise God. Ask the deacons if they will pray over the offering. Amen. Praise God. Why don't you put your hand together for what you have done? At this time, praise God, we're going to have a Praise God, a skit by Light of the World Youth Department. Praise God, they're going to come up, praise God, and glory to God, hallelujah, perform a, a skit for you, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. Why don't you put your hand together for the youth department, hallelujah. Oh, give them another hand, praise God, hallelujah. We're going to have praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. We thank God, praise God, hallelujah, for our, our praise God, our new president, praise God, no other than first lady, praise God, Sister Deidre Good. Why don't you give a round of applause, praise God. We thank God for her assistant, praise God, Sister Quintala Ingram, praise God, who assists her, praise God, hallelujah, with the children. And we thank God for them, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. Okay, glory. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. <clears throat> At this time, praise God, we introduce to some and present to others, not other than our youth department, a light of the world church. Why don't you put your hand together for them? Glory to God. Come on, give them a good round of applause, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah.
Why don't you give them a round of applause? Praise God. Hallelujah. Light of the Royal Youth Department. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you give your life to Christ, he can take all those things away. Praise God. And substitute it for something greater. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Give them another round of applause. They did such a wonderful job. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, praise God, we ask that glory to God. Everyone would stand to their feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If everyone would stand to their feet, praise God. Why don't you give God a round of applause? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Just give him a praise for what he have done for you. Praise God and what he's continuing to do for you. Glory to God, hallelujah. At this time, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. We ask that you remain standing, praise God. As we, praise God, bring to your fore, praise God, that we introduce to some and to present to others, not other, praise God, than our senior pastor, not other than, praise God, hallelujah, elder, Timothy Brown, they say thank Thank God, hallelujah. Thank God for the man of God as he comes to your front. Somebody ought to lift their hands and bless him. Come on, lift your hands and bless him. Come on, come on. This worship from just a few moments. Just a few moments, you ought to lift your hands and bless him right now. Come on. He's worthy, yes, he is. I need somebody to worship with me. Come on, I need somebody just to lift their hands and bless God. For he is worthy. Anybody believe he's worthy right now? For it's just another day that God has blessed us. Anybody believe that on today? It's just another day that God has blessed us. Hallelujah. The Resurrection Sunday morning. Just wave your hand at somebody and say, Resurrection Sunday morning. Come on, say it with me. Come on, Resurrection, amen, Sunday morning. It's all about worshiping God. Can I get a witness in here? It's all about lifting your hands and blessing God like never before. It's all about giving him praise. I just need you to praise him with me. Come on, don't just watch me, but just praise him with me. Come on, he's worthy right now. Come on, he's worthy right now. Come on, just bless him in here. Come on, just open up your mouth and bless him right now. Come on, he's worthy. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and somebody ought to say all oh, that he's done for me. Anybody, God has done something for you this morning. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Anybody got a hallelujah in their lips? 
Anybody got a hallelujah on their mind? Come on, bless God. Come on, give him a praise. Come on. Come on, give him a praise. Come on, just thank him. Thank of his goodness. Come on, thank of his grace. Come on, thank of his mercy. Come on, thank of his grace and mercy. Just lift your hands and just wave them to the Lord. Come on, just wave them to God. Come on, just wave them to the Lord. Come on, just wave them to God. Come on, he's worthy right now. Those that are watching by Facebook, just lift your hands wherever you are and just thank on this goodness. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now, God, for your grace. We thank you, oh God, for your mercy, for what you're doing in this hour. We just want to say thank you, God, for all that you've done for us on this great day. Father, we ask, God, that you touch your people, God, like never before. God, that you have your way, God, like only you can have your way. And God, as we lift our hands to you, and God, as we, God, ask, God, that you touch our families even on today. In the name of Jesus. Somebody needs strength, oh God. Somebody needs your power, God, like never before. Go, go into the hospital room, God. Go into the sick room, oh God. And God, lay your hands of mercy on them this morning. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the honor. Come on, clap your hands and tell God thank you. Come on, he's worthy right now. Somebody ought to say, he's worthy right now. Come on, just wave your hands at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's worthy right now. Hallelujah. We thank God, amen, for you, amen, being here today. We glorify God, amen, for his goodness. Somebody say, his goodness and his mercy. Somebody say, his goodness and his mercy. We bless God, amen, for everything God is doing in this hour. How many know if it had not been for the Lord? Y'all gonna get excited with me. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I would have been swallowed up a long time ago. I would have been destroyed a long time ago. But it was because of who he is and what he's done in my life. Anybody believe that on this morning? We wouldn't have the things we have if it wasn't for God. And this morning, we just give him praise. Somebody say, I just give him praise. I give him praise for dying on the cross for me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I give him praise for he didn't have to do it. But the songwriter said he did it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. For me. Somebody say for me. Come on, just wave your hand at your neighbor and say he did it for me. I don't know about you, but it, it, if it had not been for the Lord, I, I, I wouldn't be who I am. Can I get a witness in here? I wouldn't have the activities of my limbs if it wasn't for God. Somebody say, if it wasn't for God. Hallelujah. We honor our overseer, Apostle Jones. Amen. And his absence on today. I need you to pray with me. Amen. We honor. Amen. Hallelujah. Elect Lady Jones on today. Glory be to God in her absence on today. Amen. Elect Lady Brown, put your hands together. Amen. Doing a wonderful job with the youth department. Amen. Elect, amen. We praise God for Evangelist Sampson, our assistant pastor. All, to all our deacons, to all our mothers, and to the children, to those that are watching. Amen. By Facebook today, we honor you in the precious name of Jesus. Somebody say Resurrection Sunday. Come on. Y'all ain't acting, acting excited. Somebody, you ought to say, Resurrection Sunday. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God ought to be risen in your life every day. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Somebody say every day. Amen. It's a blessed day. Amen. If you got God in your life, amen, it's a blessed day. If you got God on the inside, amen, you are blessed. Somebody say, I'm blessed. Come on, say, I'm blessed beyond being blessed. Come on, say it with me. I'm blessed, amen, beyond, amen, being blessed. We want you to get the word of God, amen. We're going to go to the word, and we, amen, going to do what thus says the Lord. How many know we got to do what thus says God? Come on, say it with me. We got to do what thus says the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. I need a reader this morning. Glory be to Jesus. And I want you to just follow with me. We're going, amen, to Luke. Amen. The 24th chapter. Amen. Luke, the 24th chapter, the first verse. Amen. Through the 11th verse. I also need you to read, amen, Mark, the 7th chapter. Amen. Verses 1 through 8. And Philippians 3 and 10. Amen. So, amen. We need readers this morning. Glory be to God. And I want you to get the microphones. Amen. And so we can hear what thus, amen, says the Lord. Amen. Luke, the 24th chapter. Luke, the 20. Everyone have it? Luke, the 24th chapter. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verses 1. Amen through 11. Amen. And the word of God says, now upon the first day, now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came <coughs> unto the sepulchre, bring the spices with which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. Sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Uh -huh. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Uh -huh. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, right. saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remember his words and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, as they, as they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran into the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Amen. Glory be to God. We have Mark. We have Mark, the seventh chapter, verses one through eight. Mark, the seventh chapter, verses, praise God, one through eight. And the word of God says, Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defile, with defile, that is to say with unwashing hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they washed their hands off, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they, kept, and when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be which they have received to hold as the washing of cups and pots, basin, vessels, and of tables. Uh. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not, why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition 
of the elders, but eat bread with unwashing hands. He answered and said unto them, Where have Elisha, Isaiah, I'm sorry, where have Isaiah prophesied of you, hypocrites, as it is written, This people honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do thou worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandment of men. Yes, Philippians 3 and 10. Clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Philippians 3 and 10. Philippians 3 and 10 says, That I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death. Amen. Bless us to the hearers and readers of the word of God. Hallelujah. If I would take a text, amen, this morning, amen, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, come on, say it with some authority, neighbor, neighbor. He's, risen. he's risen, now what, now what? Now what? come on, say it with me on one more time, neighbor, neighbor. He, is he is risen, now what, now what? glory be to God, come on, clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Somebody say, he is risen. risen. Now what? Now what? Going to Luke, amen, the sit, amen, Luke, the 24th chapter. I want you to focus, amen, on the 6th verse. Amen, on the 6th verse where he says, amen, he is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Look at somebody say, he is risen. He is risen. Now what? Now Amen. Now Glory now be to God. And so, hey, when we bless the name of God, come on, clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Our spirits are very low this morning. Amen. Look at somebody say, he is risen. He is risen. And now what? Now Amen. Say it one more time. He is risen. He is risen. But now what? Come on, say it one more time. Get it in your spirit. He is risen, risen. but now what? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. As we look, amen, all over the world, amen, we see, amen, this, amen, great, amen, event, amen, that has happened, as we say, that has happened today. Can I get a witness in this house? And we, we see that this is one of the greatest Amen. Other than the birth of Christ and other than, amen, the return of Christ, this is one of the greatest events, amen, that the Christian world celebrates, amen, amen, in this time, in this time of the season, in this year, amen, what we call Easter. Can I get a witness in this house? Amen. As we know the story, amen, glory be to God, of how, amen, our Lord and Savior, amen, Amen, was crucified. Can I get a witness in here? And how they, amen, beat him all night long. Amen. By his stripes, the word of God says that we are, what, healed. Uh, he took, amen, amen, the sins of the world. Amen. The Bible said he had no sin. He knew no sin. He was not even born. Can I get some up in here? He was not even born, amen, of, of, of a fleshly nature, uh, of a seed of a man. Y'all ain't talking to me. Uh, but uh, this thing, amen, was an holy thing. Can I get a witness in here? A amen and glory be to God. And we could see, amen, how our Lord and Savior, amen, uh, uh, was marched, amen, from judgment hall, amen, to judgment hall. Glory be to God. And how he was ridiculed. And being the king, come on, clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Being the king of the Jews, Jesus said, listen, you call me that, but my kingdom is not of this world. Can I get a witness of the, in this house? And glory be to God and how, 
Amen. He came down, amen, from majesty. He came down from his throne, glory be to God, and, and took off his crown and put a crown of thorns, amen, on his head. Can I get some help in here? And he was called all kinds of names and beat upon and spit upon, but he took it for you and I. Look at your neighbor and say, he took it, amen, for you and I. If he did not take it, where would we be today? If God, amen, did not come, Amen. I posted, amen, this morning. He understood, amen, the assignment. A lot of people don't understand. Can I get some help in here? The assignment. When you are assigned, amen, a mission by God, you got to carry it out. It doesn't matter, amen, what people think. It doesn't matter what people think about you, but you have to carry out the mission that God has required, amen, for you to carry out. Now, you cannot be lazy about it. You cannot go about it uh, your own will. You cannot go about it doing it your own way but Jesus said I come by the will of my father. Can I get some help in here? Me and my father they are one. We are one. Can I get some help in here? And so Jesus, amen, being, amen, as magnificent as he is, amen, took upon sin. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And took upon Upon the Bible said he borne our grief and he borne our sorrow. Can I get some help in this house? And as we glorify God today, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's risen now what? Uh huh. And so as they took him, amen, and marched him up, got Gatho Hill, uh, the Bible describes this place, amen, the, the place of the skulls. Can I get some help in here? And I, uh, they marched him up. Uh, and not only, amen, did they march him, but the Bible says uh, that Jesus, amen, amen, bear his own cross. Uh, in other words, amen, Jesus, uh, y'all ain't saying that they, amen, took the cross, amen, his very own weight, uh, his Save your own cross, amen, to the place, amen, to be, amen, crucified, to be nailed uh, upon the cross. Now, we look at this and we see, amen, that Jesus, glory be to God, uh, do not do anything, amen, uh, and do not tell us to do anything that he would not do. Uh, he told his disciples, can I get some help in here? He told his disciples when he called them out by name, except, amen, you pick up your cross uh, and bear your cross, uh, and amen deny yourself you cannot even be my disciple and so here it is Jesus carrying his own cross amen to be crucified to be nailed upon can I get some help in here Y'all ain't talking to me. Uh, you listen here. And so Jesus, amen, amen, faces. Uh, the Bible says if he be lifted up, uh, he'll draw all men unto him. And so, amen, as he is lifted up, amen, as he is nailed to the cross, hey, we celebrate it, amen, that the saints, the seven saints of Christ, we know it wasn't the last seven saints, but yet, amen, these was the saints on this side of the cross, amen, on the other side, amen, where the miracle happens, on the other side, amen, but there must, amen, be a crushing first, there must, amen, be a dying first, in order for you to get your miracle, there must be a crushing in your life. Can I get some help in this house? Some of us have gone through some things in our life that we thought we would never go through. But until you go through those things, then you will experience the power of God. Then you experience how powerful God is. Can I get some help in here? And so glory be to God. Amen. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, amen, the lily of the valley, Jesus, the bright and morning star, Jesus, the wheel in the middle of the wheel, Jesus, the great I am. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. I feel God in here. Jesus, the very great I am, and then stepped on the scene and was crucified. And they nailed him to the cross. Not only did they nail him, but the Bible said he hung to the sixth and to the ninth hour. And then they poked a man, took a spear, and poked it in his side, and blood and water ran down his side. And it wasn't to the blood. 
and the water touching the ground. Amen. We found redemption of sin. Can I get some help in here? Without the shedding of blood, there will be no redemption of sin. In other words, there will be no cure, amen, for sin without, amen, the shedding of the blood. But I, I want to talk to you. We know that story. Amen. We've been preached. it been preached to us. Amen. Down through the years. Amen. Deke. It's been preached to us when we were a little child minister. It's been preached to us. We have played the part as children. Amen. In plays. I don't know about you. Amen. Glory be to God of how Christ was risen from the dead. And how he was crucified. But I want to tell Thank you, amen, here after the cross. Somebody say after the cross. Amen, after the cross, amen, Jesus uh, told his disciples, listen, uh, no man, he even told Pilate, no man can take my life uh, unless I lay it down. Y'all, aren't you glad uh, that God laid down his life for you and I? Aren't you glad that he gave it up for you and I? <laughs> Glory be to God. But I want you to focus your mind after the cross. <laughs> and so, amen, look at somebody and say, he's risen, now what? <laughs> and so the Bible says that Mary goes to the tomb. <laughs> Glory be to God to see, <laughs> amen. And in that day, it was a tradition <laughs> that they went to the tomb and anointed, <laughs> amen, the dead body. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> the Bible said that she took spices, <laughs> Amen. To do just that. Somebody say you got to be anointed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Even in your dead place, you got to be anointed. Can I get some help? In I feel God in here. Listen to me. And so listening at this, the Bible says, somebody say the Bible says. And the Bible says, amen. She came to the tomb. But when she came to the tomb, the stone was rolled away. Ah. Uh, something was messed up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I need God to roll my stone away. I need God to roll my problems away. And so the Bible says, I feel God, the Bible says, amen, that listen, she came to the tomb and the stone was rolled away. And she enters the tomb looking, amen, for Jesus. She's looking for the body that was crushed. She's looking for the body that was nailed. His feet and hands were nailed to the cross. And all she wanted to do was anoint the body of our Lord and Savior and preserve. Amen. But she forgot about the words that Jesus said on the third day. I'm going to rise. And glory be to God. It lost, and she lost it. Lost. Amen. What God was saying. And then when she arrived at the tomb and the stone is rolled away and there are two men standing there. Can I get some help in here? And the Bible said, amen, they were, amen, as lightning. Their, their continental, amen, wasn't, amen, normal. And so glory be to God as they're standing there, amen, they begin to talk to Mary and talks to Mary and says listen here why seek ye amen the living amongst the dead can I talk to you right there look at somebody and say neighbor why seek you the living amongst the dead come on you got no business being live and amongst the dead can I talk to you in here you are the Bible says you are a lively stone let everyone that nameth the name of the Lord, amen, depart from iniquity. And so I'm listening to this and say, God, what do you want me to tell your people? This is Resurrection Sunday. They're looking, amen, for me, amen, to put you on the cross. They're looking, amen, for me, amen, to say this and to say that. But God amen says son I want you to talk about after the cross I want you to tell my people amen that I already got up come on that I already amen rose but have they amen have I rose in their life 
listen to me have Christ amen risen amen in your life you could say amen pastor I'm saved and I'm filled of the Holy Ghost and I got God on the inside but when the Bible says amen a tree is known by the fruit that it bears in other words if you supposed to be an apple tree I should see some apples I should see the fruits of God operating in your life I said oh God what are you trying to tell the people this morning God is saying that your fruit is not alive you think come on the Bible says listen here in the word of God he says amen to search the scriptures for in them you think you have life but you have destruction some of us are sitting here this morning and we think we got it all together we think think the anointing is flowing in our life but the anointing is stagnated because you are not allowing the fruit of God to be manifest in your life listen to me what God is telling me in my ear saints of God listen you got to allow the power of God to be manifest in your life you cannot somebody say cannot sit amongst the dead the sinners and not tell them about God can I get some help from here? You, 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 you say you are saved. Then it's time for you to act saved. Come on. You say you have the Holy Ghost. It's time for you to believe God like never before. You say you have the power of God. The world needs to see the sons of man alive. The world need the world. Listen, Christ already died. I want you to follow with me. Christ already died. And he already rose. He told his disciples that ye are my witnesses. You are my representatives. Listen to me. You, amen, belongs to me. In other words, in order for the world to know who Jesus is, they're going to know who Jesus is through you. You are my witnesses. In other words, you are uh, my ambassadors. I'm going back to the Father. But I need somebody here, down here, telling the world that I'm still alive. I need somebody down here telling the world hey, that I, you roll, I rose in your life. That I put the crack pipe down. Come on. That I put, amen, the, uh, the Hennessy down. That I put the weed down. That Y'all ain't saying that. That I put the club down. I'm not going to the club anymore. I, I put the mini skirt down. I took off the daisy dudes. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Uh, and now I, I'm a representative of God. I said, oh, God, what are you saying? What are you saying? Listen, God knows the heart of every individual. I can look at you on the outside, and I can say, well, they're living holy. I think they're doing right. But God knows the intents of the heart. You can come in here with a long dress on. Y'all ain't saying nothing, but your heart is dirty. You can come in here with a three-piece suit on, but you hating on your brother and you hating on your sister. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I said, oh, God, what are you saying to the world? I've already risen. Now what? So Mary, listen here. Amen, Mary. I feel God. Mary, amen, she's, amen, the angel standing there. And they say, listen, why seek ye, amen, the living amongst the dead? I want you to catch the text. This is what we're talking about. And so he, he tells her, remember what Jesus told you, amen, that how in Galilee that he will rise again. Can I get some help in here? And so I want to tell you this morning he's risen now what what are you going to do now with the power that God gave you, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to sit there on the pew and not evangelize? Are you not going to tell somebody about God? Are you not, amen, going to tell the, the world that he is a healer? Are you not going to tell the world that he can 
can save. Does anybody know on your job that you love God? Is there anybody know in your neighborhood that you love the Lord? Is there anybody know, amen, that he is God in your life? He's risen, now what? And so I read the scripture. He took me, amen, to the scripture, amen, in Mark, the seventh chapter, verses one through eight. And it talks about, amen, tradition. We get wrapped up in tradition. Can I talk to you? Everybody wrapped up in Easter. Come on. Yes, we celebrate, amen, him being risen. Yes, we celebrate, amen, and have the Easter egg hunt. Yes, amen, we do all of this stuff. But that is Tradition, y'all ain't saying nothing. A lot of people ain't haven't gone to church all year long, but they come to church on Easter because they want to hear, amen, the pastor preach about him being crucified. He died, yes, he did die. Come on, but amen, the death is over now. Come on, can I get some help in here? He's risen, that's that work has all been done. Notice what Jesus said on the cross. He one of the words, amen, a couple of words he spoke was, it, it is finished. He understood the assignment. Amen. Everything he came for, it was done. Once, amen, he commended his spirit, amen, to God from which he came. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Listen to what he says in I, my your hands do I commend my spirit and so then he turns around and said it is finished I died it's done now I, 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 I completed the mission come on you look at your neighbor and say neighbor you got to complete the mission come on stop being lazy I hear God says stop being lazy get up and do what I call you to do come on get up and tell somebody that I am alive amen get up and tell somebody I am risen uh, let the world see me through you uh -huh. let the world amen see that I am God and so when he took me to that amen they were so wrapped up amen in tradition they was wrapped up in the disciples didn't wash their hands amen and didn't watch all this stuff and, and, and Jesus amen began to talk to them said listen you so wrapped up in tradition you forgot about who I am you, uh, the, the, the church is so wrapped up in tradition come on forget about amen what the church is for amen you so wrapped up in tradition that if you don't have your head covered you can't talk to nobody no your hair is your covered can I get some help in here we wrapped up in so much tradition that the world amen can't see God and we bickering amongst ourselves well he didn't rise on this day he rose on this day come on he, he, he didn't do this and he didn't do that Jesus said listen here and they begin to argue back with Jesus and said listen your disciples your ones that following you didn't wash your, their hands uh, they didn't follow amen the protocol come on we got a lot of people out here not following the protocol can I talk to you Amen. I'm not talking about man's protocol, but I'm talking about God's protocol. And then he began to teach them, listen, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. We got a lot of people trying to honor God with their lips, but their heart is far from him. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you want to honor me on Easter Sunday, but Monday morning, you back putting on the days of deuce. You want to honor me on Sunday morning saying he risen but you want to run in the club Sunday night come on you want to honor me and say Huckabakaya and coming on a Honda and glory be to God but if somebody puts your button you cursing them out he's risen now what now what are you going to take the power that has been given he didn't lay down his life for nothing that's what God began to do. I didn't lay down my life for nothing. I, I did it because I loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He that believeth on him what, shall not perish but have everlasting life. He died. He, then he turned around and said, I came in the world not to condemn the world 
but the world through me might be saved. He didn't come to condemn you where you were. He, a lot of us was no good. Can I get some help here? A lot of us did some things. We might not went to the club, but we hated on somebody. We, we might not smoke those drugs, amen, but we conspired against somebody. We had envy in our hearts. Look at her. She thinks she all that and she thinks she all this. And he thinks he this and a bag of chips and this and that and that. Well, I might not smoke some drugs, but you hated your neighbor. There is no big sin and little sin. Sin is sin. And, and, and Jesus began to deal with me and said, listen here. I, I, why they keep, why? I said, oh my God. Why they keep putting me back on the cross? I don't got off the cross. I don't got off the cross. It's, it's dispensation after the cross. He died that you may have life. Now what are you going to do with that life? You say you are a child of God. Are you doing what God requires you to do? It ain't about man and what I say. It's about what this word says. I don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. Come on here. We as preachers, we don't have a heaven and we don't have a hell. All our job is to guide you to heaven and not hell. But at the end of the day, it's your choice whether you want to go to heaven or whether you want to go to hell. There are only two places. The Bible describes heaven and the Bible describes hell. There's only two places. But then he says after hell, there's a lake of fire. So you can believe it or not. It, 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 come on, I'm not going to get upset if you don't believe it or not. My job is to tell you and give you the facts. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. My job is to tell you what you're not doing and what you're supposed to be doing. God's job is, it, it, the word of God shows a mirror. Shows us how we ought to walk. Shows us how we ought to talk. Shows us how we ought to be. It's not my words. It's the words of God. So he said, listen here, he's risen, now what? Now, now. And uh, when I looked up the, 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 the definition of now, it's the present time. Now. Now what? He died over 2,000 years ago. What you going to do with that information? It's now. How you living is now. Listen here. I'm not going to follow nobody and try to see what you're doing. That ain't my job. That ain't my job to be an investigator. That ain't my job to say, well, she says she's doing this, but uh, uh, no, it ain't my job. <coughs> my job is to pray for you. But I'm here to let you know the father opens the eyes of the leader. Yes. And I might not be in your home, but I can hear. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I might not be in your presence, but I can hear. And it'll enter my spirit. And God says, pray. Not to talk about you, but pray. Yes. Can I talk to you in here? <laughs> Something happened to me. Before, a lot of people take ordination like it's like it's like it's uh, uh, just doing something. But listen here, when you are ordained and it's in the will of God, your life automatically changed from that moment, and your eyes come open. The scales you have entered into another dispensation of God, and. The things that I see now, I, I did not see. The knowledge I have now, I did not have because I walked to, into another dispensation of God. Yes. Saints of God, 
Now what? What are you going to do with what God gave you? Come on here. What, what, what are you? He, he already died. Are you going to take the power? Listen to what Paul says in, in Philippians 3 and 10. He said, I want to know God in the power of his resurrection. It, it's not just, uh, we're not just saying uh, uh, celebrating that, uh, on Resurrection Sunday that he died and he, he rose again. But uh, uh, when God began to deal with me and talk to me, he said, you got to know me in the power of my resurrection. When Christ died, I talked about it Friday night. If he wasn't here, shame on you. I talked about it Friday night. Before the cross is one dispensation. After the cross, there's a whole nother dispensation. The miracles, amen, is after the cross. The power of his resurrection is how he can transform your life. It ain't my words that transforms your life. It's the power of God that transforms your life. Paul said, listen here. I had great power. I had, I had great knowledge. But I had no knowledge like God. He said, I want to know him. In the power of his resurrection. In other words, Paul said, I want to know God in a greater way that I never knew him. You got to have the desire to want more from God. I can preach to you and you can sit right here for five years. God is talking. You can sit here for five years and never grow. There first, the Bible says, there first must be a willing mind. It must, don't do it because I say do it. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Simple as that. You say you love me. I didn't put it in your mouth. You say you love me. Then keep my commandment. You honor me with your lips. But your heart ain't, your heart ain't saying what your lips saying. There's a lot of people got lip service. And they don't have no heart service. Can I get some help in here? And so Paul said, listen. And so I was saying, God. Sitting there meditating last night, I say, God, what, what are you saying? God, what, what is this? And he began to tell me, he said, except you have a desire. The Bible said desire spiritual gifts. Desire to be greater than what you are. Unless you have a desire, even in your life, yes. you could have came from the project. You could have lived in the project. Projects that ain't all bad. Come on. Low income ain't all bad. But unless you want something better for yourself, you'll still be in the projects right now. Unless you want a, a better life, you will still be where you were 10 years ago. So what, it, what, what, what are you saying, Pastor? Pastor? Except there be a desire to be better than what you are now. Five years from now, you will be better. Tomorrow, you will be better. A week from now, you will be better. Can I get some help in here? But if there is no desire, I can preach and sweat my clothes out every Sunday. But if there is no desire for you to be better in God, then you're wasting your time. I said, oh, God, they're not going to like this. If you don't want to be better than what you are, you're wasting your time. God called you to be greater. He called you to be 
better. He put gifts in your life for a reason. It is your job, not God's job, to perfect the gift. He says, I'll do what you can't do. But it's your job to have the desire to do. I shouldn't have to call you and say it's service time. I shouldn't have to call and say you it's prayer time. I shouldn't have to call. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. But if you desire to be better, he said, I don't rose, now what? I don't got out the grave, now what? Will you be like you are when Jesus returns, or will you be better? One was given one talent. One was given what? How many? Two. One was given what? Three. Two and three multiplied that talent. One took that talent and buried it. God is calling for you to be greater. Somebody say greater. Somebody say greater. Every now and then, that pastorship got to come out. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I know we want to hear something great, and I know we want to hear the power of God and let the power of God fall, but sometimes, y'all ain't saying nothing to me, sometimes God got to open our eyes to teaching. God got to open our eyes and let the pastor, amen, pastor. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You know, I, I, didn't, I said, well, God, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about that. He said, no, no. This is what they need to hear. Amen. I said, okay. So I'll rather, Deaconess, do what God say That's right. so I can sleep at night. Amen. I'd rather do what God say and he don't take away my blessing Amen. because I surely want to be blessed by God. Amen. So he says, listen, there has to be a desire in you to be better in God. God will not, God will not, saints of God, listen to me. God will not force you to do anything you don't want to do. Anything he will not force you. But he gives you the opportunity. Some of us have wasted the opportunity of God. Why? Because we should be way farther than what we are. We should be way higher than what we are. We should be doing more than what we're doing. Yes. He's risen. Now what? And I'm going to get ready to close. Or we got another dispensation of our service. But God wants us to be better. He told us, listen, you would be a good minister if you remind them to call them in remembrance of who I am. To call in remembrance of who you are. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, he's risen. Now what? Come on, look at your neighbor one more time and say, neighbor, he's risen. Now what? And look at somebody else on the other side and say, neighbor, you're doing a good job, but you can do better. Come on, say, neighbor, you're doing a good job, but you can do better. I can do better. The word comes to the preacher first. You can do better. We can be better. There was so much power in here Friday night. I said, oh, my God. But then afterwards, we go to our own separate churches, and we do our own separate thing. But what if the body of Christ can come together? What would the world be like if we could really come together, not just for a couple of hours, but what if we could come together on a national level and change the world. Amen. Jesus did a great work. He had 12 disciples. 
But one was a devil. You always going to have a devil. You always going to have somebody don't know like you. But that shouldn't stop you from doing greater. That shouldn't stop the mission that God has in your life. Family not going to like you if you tell them the truth. Can I get some help in here? Family not going it, to, it's your job to tell them the truth. Can I get some help in here? It's your job. Listen here, I'm talking to somebody. It's your job to disagree what they're doing. It is not your job to go along with what they're doing and what they're saying. And you say you're a child of God. And you say you know the Lord. As much as we love our children, it ain't our job to go along with their wrongdoing. Can I get some help in this house? You love them more when you tell them the truth. You love them more when you tell them, hey, you got to come out of this stuff. You got to do better than this. You help them. You love them. The Bible said, with love and kindness have I drawn. So it's with love. But yet you still got to tell them the truth. Whether they want to hear it or whether they don't want to hear it. Whether your family members want to hear it or whether they don't want to hear it. Why? Because God has called you to a greater life. And he calls you to be the witnesses in this earth. And so he's saying, you tell them I rose, but what are they going to do about it? Are you going to allow God? There is a dispensation in all of our lives to where God wants us to go and what he wants us to do. It is your job to find out from God, what should I be doing? It is your job to find out from God, who am I? He holds the keys. He holds the knowledge. I'm not going to force it down on you. He said, act, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be open. So the question is, are we seeking? The question is, are we knocking? Or are we just doing it because pastors say do it? Are we just here because it's, it's tradition for us to be here? <coughs> God has touched some of your lives. But there is greater that can be in your life. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's risen. Now what? So, am I telling you to throw away the tradition? No. Nope. But keep in mindful who's over the tradition. Keep in mindful who has the power. It ain't the power in the tradition. Jesus was trying to get them to see you all worrying about somebody washing your hands, but your heart is dirty. We, 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 we bicker and argue about, well, somebody got on this and somebody got on that, but their heart may be cleaner than your heart. And so the whole thing about the whole thing about the matter is if God can get a hold of the heart, then the person will change. Follow me. If God can get a hold of the heart, then there's true transformation. But if I make you do something, there is no transformation. Come on. If I force you to do something, are you really doing it because you love God or you just don't want to hear me fuss? Come on. Are you changing your garment because this is what the Bible says? Or are you changing your garment because that's what the preacher says? When we can get beyond what the preacher says, then we can do what the spirit says. Can I talk to you? Because if the preacher is in the spirit, the spirit bears witness with the spirit. Come on. Come on. 
the spirit bears witness with the spirit. So if we're operating off the same spirit, then you have no problem with doing what I say. Because we're operating off the same spirit, the same God. Come on, clap your hands and tell God thank you. <laughs> Somebody say, he's risen. Now what? So, he says, look at him, Mary. Go tell my disciples that I've risen. Go tell them the angels leave and then Jesus appears. When Jesus appears, he falls to the ground and says, oh, my Lord, my God. He tells her to go tell my disciples that I am risen. She goes and tells them, and they didn't believe. Thomas says, unless I see the nail prints in his hand, unless I can put my finger in his side, I won't believe. It's some people just like that. But that's a bad way to be. Because Jesus, when he appeared to Thomas and showed up, he said, blessings are those that have not seen but yet believe. It's a bad thing to to, to, to want to see it, to believe it. Because everything you get from God is through faith. And you won't see it. You got to believe it for it to manifest. Can I get some help in here? And so there is great potential. The great thing about it, God doesn't chastise us because he just want to chastise us. But God Amen. Chastises us. The Bible says he loved whom he chastened. Can I get some help in here? So the great thing about God, he loves us, and so he's going to show us the way. He's going to tell us what way we should be going. He's going to tell us what we should be doing. But then it's up to you to do it. Can I get some help in this house? And so I glorify God this morning because I, I see what God is doing. I see God's power on your life. Somebody say, on your life. But you got to see it. You got to see the great that is in you. Somebody clap their hands and tell God thank you. So God... As we stand to our feet, God is requiring more. Somebody say he's requiring more. Look at somebody say, neighbor, he's requiring more. Come on, say it one more time. He's requiring more. Hallelujah. So we bless God for you on this morning. And we want you to come around the altar. Glory be to God. And we want to ask you just to lift your hands and just bless the Lord. Everybody knows where they are in God. Everybody knows what they should be doing in God. If you don't know, this is the perfect time to ask him. And this is the perfect time to lift your hands and say, Father, in your hands do I commend my spirit. Come on, lift your hands before him. Just meditate on him right now. Father, we just thank you right now. We glorify your name. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We just thank you, God, for what you're doing right now. For God, we declare that you have been risen in our life. We declare, God, your power and your majesty and your anointing, God, over our lives. 
God, we ask God that you thrust us, God, into where you want us to be. God, we commend, we, we, we commend our spirit to you. We ask for your leadings. We ask for your guidance. We ask, God, that you touch us, God, like only you can touch us. God, that you glorify us, God, like only you can glorify us. Father, we need you right now in our lives. We need your grace. We need your mercy. God, don't let us be the same. But God, let us be changed. Change our hearts. Change our minds from the conception, God, that what we're doing right now. God, that we will be greater in you the hope of glory. God, that we would know you, God, in a way, God, that we don't know you. I pray, God, that you touch every area of every life that's standing before you right now. God, that in the next seven days, God, that they would know you in the power of your might. God, like never before, that they would experience you in a way, God, that they have never, ever experienced you. God, it is for in the experience of you, God, that lives are transformed. God, if you did it once, you can do it again. If you did it to Paul, God, you can do it to us. God, transform us in what you want us to be. Let us be the daughter and the son, God, that you're calling to be in this last and evil days. God, that the ways that we have, God, that we transform them. God, that we we walk more close to you, God, than ever before. God, that every shortcoming, God, that would come up in the name of Jesus. God, that your grace and your mercy would cover us, God, and cover our families, God, like never before. You have risen in our lives, and we proclaim this day, God, that we will walk in your glory. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, walk in your glory, God. I want to walk in your glory. Just clap your hands. I want to walk in your glory. I want to walk in your glory. Come on, say it. Say it. I want to walk in your glory. Come on, come on. I want to walk in your glory. Come on, come on. Come on. I want to walk in your glory. I want to be different. I want to be different. Is there anybody want to be different? Is there anybody want more power? Is there anybody want more anointing? Is there anybody want shakada about? Is there anybody want more of God? Shakada about Mother, lift your hands in the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, Father. We praise you, God. We magnify your name. We ask strength to come to your body. Saints, punch your hands. God, we ask strength to come, oh God. God, the way get hard for you, I ask strength right now. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. God, we give you honor. In the name of Jesus. And we praise you, God, for what you're doing. <laughs> we magnify for what you're doing. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There's a great peace in here. In Jesus' name. Somebody lift their hands. And bless God. Just lift your hands and bless him. Just lift your hands and glorify him. Just lift your hands and just tell him thank you. We thank you right now, God. A peace, God, that surpasses all our understanding. God, that will guide our hearts. That will guide our hearts and minds. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, have your way, God. Somebody say, have your way, God. Somebody say, have your way, God. Shake it if it will stand in line. We thank you, God. For there is none like God. 
Does anybody believe that there is none like God? Somebody say there is none like God. There is none like God. Lift your hands, both of y'all. Lift your hands. There is none like God. To God, you do it. You do it. To God, you do it. trying and let God do it. You hear me? Stop trying and let him do it. Turn it in his hand. Turn it in his hand. That's what I hear. He said, I want to do it. He said, I want to do it. Turn it in his hand. Turn it in his hand. Somebody say, turn it in over to Jesus. Somebody say, turn it over to Jesus. Mm. In the tomb, in the tomb, Mary was looking for something that was dead. Stop looking for dead work. Believe for greater. You hear me? Believe for greater. Don't look for the dead work. Look for the living. Look for peace. Shakadaba. Look for joy. Shake it up also. Look for harmony. Shake it about. Look for unity. Shake it in your also. Stop looking for the dead work, said God. Shake it up. Trust in me. Trust in me. Trust in me. Trust in me. Lean not to your own understanding. Hallelujah. And in all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Check it out. Stop looking for the dead. Somebody ought to clap their hands. Stop looking for the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake it up. Arrest her mind, God. Arrest her mind. In the name of Yeshua. Shake her. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. Ha, there's a peace in here. I don't know if y'all feel it or not, but there's a peace in here. There's a peace in here. You ought to lift your hand and just tell God thank you. Hallelujah. You ought to lift your hand and just tell him thank you. Bless you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. God wants to be more 
shaking they be outside than just paying your bills God wants to be more than that Amen. in your life uh -huh. he wants to be more than making ends meet shaking he wants to be more shakarabaya than budgeting shake it before now what now what says God will you believe me shake it will you believe me shake it before there's grace more grace more grace somebody ought to lift their hands in here there is more grace somebody say more grace more grace more grace more grace more grace. Clap your hands and tell All God thank you. All things are possible if you believe. Clap your hands and tell God thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to say more grace. More grace. Man, as arenas, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing. God is doing something that you ain't seen nothing yet. Because of your dedication and service, somebody say, greater is coming. Somebody say, greater is coming. another dimension for you prophets I see another dimension for you another higher calling for you lift your hands I speak against the spirit of disencouragement lift both hands lift your hands You are who God say you are. Shake it away. You sometimes you wonder in yourself, you say, I don't know if I got it or not. God said, Listen, I call you. I ordain you. You can't move like everybody. Shock how about you can't move like everybody else moves. you flow in me, shake it in the room, the greater you're going to be. I feel God, somebody ought to lift their hands. Truly, the more you flow in me, says the Lord, the better you will be, says God. A whole nother, you ain't seen nothing yet, a whole nother dimension. God going to take you to a whole nother dimension of him. I think the last time I talked to you, God said you're going you gonna to experience him in a way you never experienced him. It is in those experiences that we know God even more. <sighs> it is in those moments in the true intimacy of God that you will know him. I want you to prepare your hearts and mind for communion this great Sunday morning. Amen. Evangelist is going to read the scripture. Amen. And I want you to prepare your heart. I want you to prepare your mind for communion. Lift your hands. you got to go through, says the Lord. Be 
not afraid, says God. Fear, says the Lord. I am with you, says God. Give us confirmation. I never told Evangelina's this. She came to me, and I didn't tell you. She came to me yesterday in the parking lot, and she said, Pastor, I see something over your wife. And I let her talk to me. Sometimes God will give confirmation. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He'll give confirmation and let you know where you're headed. Great things going on, God, not because of me, but because of who you are. God said, be confident in who you are. For I chose you from your mother's womb, says God. I chose you. Be confident in me, says the Lord. Somebody say, confidence. Somebody say confidence. You more than the youth, youth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You more than the youth president. I had a dream about you. I never told you. I, I saw you standing before people. And the more you open your mouth, the more God uses you. God says it's time for you to open your mouth. Here comes the Holy Ghost. The more you open your mouth, the more yokes will be broken. Somebody ought to lift their hands and tell God thank you. Be not afraid, says the Lord. Be not afraid of their faces, says God. For I am with you, says the Lord. I am with you. starting at the 25th verse. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was portrayed, took bread. And when he... When he had given thanks, he breaked it and said, Take ye this. It's my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever eat shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. But he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. But if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. The 
word of God, hallelujah, in John, the 13th chapter, start at the third verse. It says, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand, and that he was come from God and went to God. He rises from supper and laid aside his garment and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then coming he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know it hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thy share never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, If I wash not thee, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. And Jesus said to him, He that is washed needed not to say, He that is washed needed not say to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As you prepare your hearts, as you prepare your hearts to go in prayer. If you want to kneel, you may kneel. If you just want to bow your heads, you can do that also. And we're going to ask God to prepare you for his holy communion. Hallelujah. At this time, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you. God, we praise you. We magnify your name. We thank you, God, for all that you're doing right now. God, that you bless us. God, that you forgive us for all our sins. You blot out our transgressions. God, that you will have your way. God, like never. In the name of Jesus, God, that you will search us right now, God. You will search our hearts. And you will search our minds. In Jesus' name, we pray. Asking you to come, those that want to take communion. Somebody ought to bless God. Look at somebody and say, I know it was the blood for me. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now. We glorify your name. God, that you come before you right now. We ask God that you have your way. God, like never before. 
God, we give you the praise, we give you the glory and the honor. Let this be transformed, God, God, to your blood. Let it be transformed to your body. God, we give you the praise, the glory, Jesus, and the honor in Jesus' name. I know it was the blood for me. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again for me. me. Well, one day when I, Jesus died on the cross, I know it was the blood. Amen. Begin to tell his disciples. Amen. About it, Wilma. Amen. That this is my body that was broken for you. That often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Take, eat, all of it. This is my blood of the New Testament that was shed for you. Take, drink, all of it. Often as you do, do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. I just tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Wash me over again. Wash me over again. In your precious blood. Wash me over again. Wash me over again. Wash me over again. In your precious blood. Wash me over again. He rose from supper and he take the towel and gird it from self and began to wash his disciples feet wash me over again wash me over again in your precious blood wash, wash me over Wash me over again. Wash me over in, in your prayer. Wash me over again. Wash me over Wash me over
precious, precious blood. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to lift your hands and tell God thank you. Come on, lift your hands and tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, he's worthy. Somebody ought to say he's worthy. Hallelujah. Come on and say he's worthy. Come on and say he's worthy. Come on to be praised. Somebody ought to bless him in this house. Come on, open up your mouth and tell him thank you. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Come on and say hallelujah. Come on and say hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on and say glory to God. Come on and say glory. We're getting ready to march. Come on and say glory. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Come on.
Somebody ought to lift their hands and tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Say, we're going to pray for one another. Come on, say it one more time. Say, neighbor, we're going to pray for one another. Amen. Glory to God. We bless the name of Jesus. Amen. As you lift your hands and just tell God, thank you. Come on, lift your hands and just tell him, thank you. Come on, lift your hands and just tell him, thank you. We bless the name of Jesus. Amen. We know it was a lengthy service this morning, but we thank God for you. Amen. For coming. We thank God for you. Amen. For gracing us with your presence on today. We bless the name of God for all that he's doing in our life. Somebody say all that he's doing in our life. And saints of God, we want you Amen. To remember, remember, glory be to God. Remember, amen, during the week we have prayer, we have Bible study, amen. And I'm looking for you, especially you, amen. If you're not working, to come on out, amen, and be in our Bible study. Come on out and be in our prayer, amen. There's some heights and level that God wants to take us there. Somebody say, he'll take us there. But it requires your cooperation. Somebody say, your cooperation. Amen. Saints of God, we know our duties. We're not going to go into that. We know what we should be doing. I need to see the deacons, amen, and the ushers after church for just a few moments. Just a few moments. Amen. After church, amen. Glory be to God. And saints, we want you to continue to press on in the Lord. Remember look at our calendars and see what we got going on. Amen. Our church anniversary, we're asking everyone, amen, to give $25. Amen. Put it in the envelope. Amen. $25. Amen. In our church anniversary service. Amen. Which will be the 28th and the 29th. Amen. Of this month. Amen. Where we celebrate. Amen. We celebrate the foundation of this ministry, amen. We celebrate, amen, what God has done in the years and what he's going to do in the future, amen. So we're asking every member, amen, that's on the roster, amen, to give, amen, $25, amen, on that Friday night. Saints of God, and I'm looking, amen, for you, you, and somebody say, especially you, Keep up with our calendars. Keep up with what's going on at the church. Amen. Glory be, God, be to God. Officers, we're looking for you. If you hold an office and we're having service and you're not working, we're looking for you. Somebody say, we're looking for you. Amen. Glory be to God. As leaders, we can't tell, amen, others to do and we're not doing. Amen. I can't get no help right there. Amen. Glory be to God. This is not my ministry. This is the Lord's. Amen. And so there's requirements that we are expecting. Glory be to God. And so if that be all, amen, we are standing. Amen. We're standing. <laughs> 